Hi friends, here in this video, I'll give the formula for double purchase crab. So, let's get started. Now first, I'll explain the construction what happens here in case of double purchase crab. Here there is a shaft which is called as the effort axle. It is carrying a pinion D having number of teeth T4 and this shaft is connected to an effort wheel having diameter capital D and we would be applying the effort at the end of this effort wheel by pulling the rope. Then this pinion D is in mesh with spur C as we can see here and it is having number of teeth T3 and this is called as the intermediate axle or the intermediate shaft. This same shaft carries another pinion which is pinion B having number of teeth T2 and this pinion is in mesh with another spur gear having number of teeth T1 and this spur gear is connected to a load drum having diameter small d and they are mounted on the same shaft having the same axis and finally the load drum is carrying this load. So, the functioning of this double purchase crab is in such a way that when we pull this rope that is applying effort at the end of the effort wheel, pinion D would be rotating and pinion D when it rotates, suppose it rotates in a clockwise direction, so D and C are connected, they are external gears, so if D rotates in clockwise direction, then C would be rotating in an anti-clockwise direction. If C rotates anti-clockwise, even B would be rotating anti-clockwise because they are onto the same shaft and once B rotates anti-clockwise, it would be transferring the motion to T1 and this gear which is spur A would be rotating in a clockwise direction. So this is the functioning and the moment we apply the effort at this end at the effort wheel, the load would be wounding on the load drum and it gets lifted and we are using such gearing arrangement in between because if we want to lift heavier loads, we are having more torque multiplication by using number of gears and the heavy load gets lifted. So the velocity ratio formula for double purchase crab is given by capital D upon small d into T1 upon T2 multiplied by T3 upon T4. where capital D is the diameter of the effort wheel, small d is the diameter of this load drum, T1 is the number of teeth on spur A, T2 is the number of teeth on pinion B which is in mesh with A, T3 is the number of teeth on spur C and T4 is finally the number of teeth on pinion D which is in mesh with C. Now instead of the effort wheel, if suppose we are having an arrangement in which we have a handle, so replacing the effort wheel with the help of a handle and we are going to grip the handle and rotate it so it is also called as a crank so in that case the velocity ratio formula would be twice of L because crank acts as a radius so the diameter is 2L upon small d into T1 by T2 into T3 by T4 so this much part is common so by using this formula we can get the velocity ratio for a double purchase crab and once we know the velocity ratio mechanical advantage which is load upon effort we can easily calculate the efficiency for a double purchase crab. So in short that was a video regarding velocity ratio for double purchase winch crab. At the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.